In this video, we will write our first movement program with a cooker robot and I show you the difference between a point-to-point -point and a linear movement. Enjoy! Hello, my name is Werner Hampel from Robtech. I have been training operators and programmers for 10 years here in our training center in Mainburg, Germany. I help companies to integrate robots in their productions and let's get started to find out the difference between PTP and linear on industrial robots. Please note, when I say PTP, that means uh, point to point. Okay, let's get started. For this, now I will use our freshly measured TCP, which you can find in a previous video. And we will try to uh, move from point one, two to three, and back to a point one uh, with our two different motion types, PTP and linear. So difference, if I move to a point in PTP or in linear is while I'm moving uh, from that point to that point in PTP, the robot just tries to come from the start of the axis to the end of the axis. Uh, depends on uh, how many axes he has to move. And in linear, he just tries to move from the starting point to the destination point in a linear move. Let's uh, try this to show a live demonstration here uh, on this robot. I don't use my teach panel, I use the PC so that you can see it much more better what I'm doing here. So the first thing I always need to uh, make is I go into main menu uh, to the house configuration and we just want to change the user group from the user, the default user who cannot write programs to expert. And the secret word is uh, by default KUKA. Uh, then I open robot one, I go to program. So now I select new. A new model means a new program and I say, okay, I just uh, name this program uh, Werner and select that program. And this program by default uh, is just the initialization. I show you that in the next video. I have two uh, PTP points uh, with the home position. I touch up them here. Uh, because this is a brand new robot, I can change the home position. Please don't change your home position in your production program. Okay, so let's get started. I will move to the first point here. So this is our first point, second, third, okay? I call them point one, two, and three. Uh, for that, I have to move the robot to the first point. Please make yourself this exercise on your robot. It's very easy and you learn the difference between PTP and linear. So, that's my first point. And I say, commands, motion, and now I can select PTP or linear. In my case, I want PTP, point one, that's okay. And I say command okay. The robot programs now our the target here uh, where I am. Now I move the robot to point two. I can make this on that. So I don't need to be so exactly. So here is my point number two. What I'm doing now is I say commands, 
motion PTP and the robot makes it automatically 0.2. He always counts one more. I left, I leave everything else in by default and say command OK. The robot only uh, remembers to coordinate where the robot is now while I'm programming that point. Yeah. Uh, how I move to that point, he don't remembers. He don't. You can move to that uh, point however you want. Yeah. But when you program it new, it uh, takes the actual coordinates. If you're not satisfied with that coordinates, you can touch up them. You can move to a new position and touch up them. I'll explain you later. Okay, let's go to point number three. That's very easy to program our first uh, movement program. So, and I go anywhere here in my cycle. And so, here it is. Commands, motion, PTP, and command, okay. Okay, my program is now, I move from home to point one, point two, point three, and he moves directly to home. In the first I see it's a PTP, a point to point command. So, now we uh, start that program, okay? So, um, we say, okay, select that point, I push start. Okay, he moves to the home position we defined before. Good. I move to point number one in PTP. It just tries to move his axis to the target. And you see, now it makes that. You will see a thing like a cycle and it moves back to position home. Okay, that's a PTP point. Yeah, you, you saw it moves that way. Here, a little bit like there. And uh, it's not a, a a linear move. Now I change it to linear move and we see uh, the difference. I can do this by change that position to linear and say okay. The second point I change to linear and I say okay. And the third point the same. Okay. So let's try this out. I say so, and action. And action now. Okay, let's see. Now the robot moves on a direct linear way to that point. So, when we use PTP, the robot just says, okay, I need to go to that position. At least he's in the same target, but uh, it moves all axes to this. This could be a, a, a movement like that you saw. And now in linear, the robot has to move in a linear, away from the tool center point, our tip of our pen here, and it has to move directly to that point. That's the difference between a PTP and a linear point. I can show you that maybe um, here with that one. For example, uh, I just program a point here, point one. I move axis one and program point two here. Okay? Um, and then I say move to that point in PTP. The robot only will move axis one to get to the target point number two. But if I say from here to that point, I program to point number two move in a linear way. The robot has to move every six axes to make sure that it's moving in a linear way to that uh, point. If I am the robot, I have to move axis two back first and move axis uh, 
two in, in, in positive direction after that. To get in a straight line. So PTP means move your axis in the angle uh, as fast as possible. Linear way is to move the shortest way. Okay? That's a difference. Difference between PTP and linear is the robot moves in PTP, just his axis from the beginning to the end. That could be a very strange uh, movement. In linear, the robot moves straight in a line. You use this uh, command when you have to pick up something uh, to, to go uh, straight away uh, whenever you need to say the robot move that fast, for example, 200 millimeters per second. That is a linear move and the PTP point is just to move around in the space uh, as fast as possible. I hope this video shows you the difference between point to point and a linear move. In the next videos I show you advanced programming tools to program your robot. So if you are interested in, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, uh, write me and comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye.